did, because I'm not dumb. Guys, we're able to reacquire that chemistry right a little now, bit earlier than expected. Two minutes from landing, and now but we are just has waiting. Such a short attention we bitch, they're at the computer, man! Away from that initial drone shoot deploy. Yeah, two minutes and 26 seconds. A GPS. Oh shit, they're not. Visual, two drogues out. There on your screen, we have visual confirmation of those two drogue deployments. Happy do drogue. All right, so two of two, the droves now out. They're gonna do their slowing and stabilizing of the Dragon spacecraft. They should be detaching in XTC just a few moments. Out. And then we'll see four parachutes, the main parachutes deployed. Dragon under Guys, this is a feels lagman simulated, dude. Drove descent rate nominal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The expected descent rate, the expected velocity under the drogues nominal. Where this is like dug up footage from like in 1994, dude. And already dropping. You can see the drogues now detach. And there we have confirmation of deployment of the four main parachutes. Cool, man. We are visual on four shoots out. We are visual. Four main parachutes deployed. Four main. One of them's like glitching, dude. Only one guy clapping. Can you stop? So at this point, the main parachutes have deployed. They are inflating, as you can see there on your screen, continuing to slow Dragon down significantly. We are anticipating splashdown in just under two minutes and 30 seconds. We've Guys, already slowed the vehicle let's down say, to about 16 miles an hour. It's already less something's than going wrong in altitude. Can they can they open a door and jump out and 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 parachute it? Main chute descent rate nominal, passing through 700 meters. Interesting. So at this point, Dragon has saved all propulsion systems on 600 board. 600 meters. 600 meters. And we're 600 meters above the Gulf of Mexico. This is cool, dude. Should be approximately a minute 30 from splashdown. Mission control team here in Hawthorne has reported the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. They are standing by ready to I wish I would zoom out sometimes you like perspective I am better going channel up just passed about 300 meters I'll give you um 1 minute till splash you know, I'll, do, I'll give you a 3 hour minute see you later 300 meters. Well, this almost looks so real. It looks like CGI, dude. Copy brace for splash Is it not? So there we heard Bob and Doug reporting that they are bracing for a splashdown. Chat pull. We should be able to see uh, the Gulf of Mexico here in the shot just momentarily as we're now just about 20 meters off the ocean. Holy shit! Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for Splashdown. SpaceX copies and concurs. We see Splashdown and Mains cut. Dragon Endeavor has returned home. NASA astronauts and Bob and Doug. On behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. This is cool, dude. <laughs> It's truly our honor and privilege to fly the flight of the uh, Crew Dragon and Endeavor. Congrats, everybody at. This thing new. Who cares if it's something new, dude? Uh, Don't be a dude. And we're. Uh, it's like the epitome of science or fucking technology. Eight zero zero. Thanks for the. Yeah, guys, what is he saying? We uh, copy that you are into uh, four decimal eight zero zero. 
The great news all around there. Our space dads are back on Earth after a 19-hour return journey from space. Dragon Endeavor has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. And on your screen there, you can see our two fast boats, and they are indeed fast, <laughs> racing out to greet Dragon Endeavor as uh, it sits there. The first on oh, there, we can see a view inside the capsule. That's crazy, Bobby Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did Space hear. X, uh, Endeavor in three decimal one. We is show ourselves. Just, why is it choppy? One. And SpaceX copies for uh, vehicle assessment. Step three decimal one. Stable one. Good news. Not stable impressed. One four weird. They're upright in the water. Stable two. Uh, Fucking zoomers, dude. Where it could be on Fucking zoomers, dude. Upside down dude it, you guys will say, have a water this is not, Im not impressive, dude. Uh, it upright, and you'll be impressed at, like, essentially pump sea water if it only took you three uh, rounds of wiping before there was no, no more poop on your fucking wipe this morning, dude. Upright, well, weird chat. What is it not, dude? They touch down. Uh, Jesus, man. Right on time at 11.48 a.m. Pacific. 18.48. What's lagging? UTC. Bob and Doug now in the water, and the recovery ops, they've already begun. We're, we already see the, the fast boat <laughs> starting to move in. Uh, we're still maintaining that good communication back uh, with Bob and Doug and the team here in Hawthorne. Uh, pretty soon we should be getting uh, the go for them to move in, begin their hypergall sniffs, and uh, begin wrangling up those parachutes. We can see Bob and Doug inside the capsule back on planet Earth. Yeah, those fast boats will be moving in to do a couple of things. Uh, they'll be performing what's known as a sniffer dude, I would test. I just put TFT That's on there, essentially dude. to ensure that the air around the vehicle uh, doesn't have any toxic fumes from the hypergolic propellants on board. So once we get the all clear from there, guys, because uh, the man, water recovery lead will give the uh, will give the go for approach, <laughs> and that's when the the first fast boat will actually approach the capsule. Hopefully give a little wave to Bob and Doug through the window. <laughs> and uh, one of the crew members will, uh, one of the team members will actually climb on top of Crew Dragon and begin to um, begin to place the rigging equipment necessary to hoist Dragon out of the water. Oh, still getting a view from the WB, uh, the airplane flying overhead. It gave us those, those great views of really our first views of Bob and Doug reentering the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, from up above, you can see the four parachutes Guys, in the water. Uh, what the are they filming this with? Uh, as expected by Dragon. What is this trash, so the crew dude? Just standing by. Again, they're going to stay in their suits, in their seats. Uh, we're waiting for all these initial checks. Dragon, SpaceX, com check. Well, but, well, guys, I'm. Here, hello. Hey guys, even the image is having total time loading. Just wanted to verify a quick com reconfiguration. Thank you. <laughs> and so it's static. What happened there is they reconfigured. And solo, if you can just relay uh, status of the uh, <laughs> it's fucking satellite, recovery, uh, bitch. Everything we do is a little bit of satellites, isn't it? You bet, absolutely, Doug. Uh, Wilco. So what just happened there, you heard uh, comms reconfiguration. That's essentially looping Bob and Doug's communication into the launch, or excuse me, into the recovery team uh, so that if not, they can hear feedback from Bob and Doug directly as well. Now, I, we talked a little bit about... SpaceX uh, Endeavor, you can let okay. James know. Uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Okay, okay. we'll let the flight docs know that you're feeling good so far. Thanks for that update. Really good news there, to Bob hear that you're feeling good so far. Thanks for that update. Really good news there to Bob hear that Doug they're feeling good, uh, and they can let the flight surgeons know that all is well inside Dragon Endeavor. All right, and it sounds like we do have uh, one of our folks that's on location there. <laughs> I found NASA's Bob. Brandy Dean. She's been she's uh, joining us by satellite phone. Brandy, if you can hear me. Well, I mean, what is it like right there on the water? What was it like to watch Dragon Rear uh, watch them splash down for the uh, test objective? Stand by as we get it up and operating. Okay, SpaceX copies. We'll be ready for that in just a couple of minutes. You know, Chad. That the um, please stand by. The iPhone camera, the newest model, uses the same camera as the 3DS. What's funny? <laughs> I 
Jesus. What happened? Hello? <laughs> What's happening? They're in the center of your screen. Dragon capsule, awaiting for the fast boats to approach and begin the rigging process. And there on the left-hand side of your screen, we can see that second fast boat come into view. Dragon SpaceX, we are go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personal personnel aside, alongside in just under a minute. Oh, Mr. Cowell, this one has edges of ibs. Look at you, Captain. Thank you. All right, so they're starting to move in. Chat. Just said chat. The first boat's gonna I know. Go. I know what camera they're using. I have it. I have it. I have it here. Chat. The second one's gonna start rounding up the parachutes, uh, which we're getting some really cool views Hi. from the WV-57 still flying overhead, uh, looking down. You can see the parachutes in the water. And the second wow. boat start to gather them up. EOPVC, uh, hope you're having we'll try a good one more time real quick. Uh, we have NASA's Look Brandy out. Dean out with the recovery forces. Brandy, if you can hear me, what was Finally it like to watch to the second come down? Our <laughs> for a long. Right there, dude, that one, dude. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. I that, was never going to my view. It was such a beautiful, <laughs> gorgeous day. The water is calm. Really the best weather we could have asked for um and we did we heard the it's uh, the exact thing that i'm done, done. Back, and, uh, we were able to find early on as the parachutes were deployed so it was very exciting for everybody who was gathered here that's incredible. We actually had some questions from people if you'd be able to hear the sonic boom, and we weren't sure. So I'm really you glad you just answered that justice. for us. You love um, your father, the devil. I mean, we talked so much about the weather. You said it looks great. What? I mean, what was it like on the ride out there? Has it just been kind of clear skies and clear seas the whole way? Colon joy. I'm not sure if you can hear me right now, um, but you're asking about the weather, weather with clear skies. There are just a kind of a circle of clouds along the horizon, very low, but um, the, the, we were able to see the parachute far above the clouds space and follow it all the way until it's left. All right, well, we're not getting any views on the boat, so what kind of activity is taking place right now? We're able to see the fast boats approaching the capsule. Uh, what's everybody doing on the boat to just kind of get everything ready? Uh, the boat's also making its way for the capsule. I can't see it with my with my rear eyes. We're getting closer. Everybody's been kind of standing by, um, holding ready positions for quite a while now. So it's eight months it, with it, the juice small and loving every minute of it. Excusing you are content on their own. No their own activity. <laughs> All right, copy that. Well, we're going to keep watching from here. Um, thanks for calling in, and thanks for being out there with everybody. <laughs> so again, I got my mom and shit. It's just really on your new fucking iPhone, dude. Thanks, Brandy. You hope to get you back in port soon, uh, and we'll talk to you back in Houston. <laughs> copy that. <laughs> So there on your screen, uh, ooh, camera view change. That is a view coming to us from Go Navigator, um, the recovery vessel. Uh, the two fast boats are out there getting to getting ready to uh, basically plot, or excuse me, install the rigging equipment required to hoist Dragon out of the water. Uh, one, the other fast boat is actually collecting the parachutes from the water. We definitely want to uh, bring those back on board with us. Uh, but shortly here, we should actually see one of the team members uh, crawl up onto the side of the capsule in order to install that, uh, install the rigging, like I, I mentioned. That particular team member is highly experienced and highly trained. As you can imagine, climbing on top of an oddly shaped thing in, you know, the ocean <laughs> could be 
a little tricky. So uh, this person has undergone a lot, hours and hours of training and certification in order to perform this very important task. There on the right hand side of your screen, we see the second fast boat approaching. Cool. Uh, of course, both of these boats uh, needed to wait for their is cue that or is it, is uh, that from about it? the water recovery lead in order to approach Dragon after splashdown. It's like a fishing boat. Uh, again, that was just to make sure that there weren't any toxic vapors in the air. Uh, and now that they got the all clear, we do see them beginning to work uh, on and around the Dragon capsule. Ch ch I'm really so th th this even though the camera's a little shaky, uh, that water looks super, super duper uh, smooth, almost like glass, which is certainly ideal for a water recovery like today. Yeah, got to remember that this is a view from the, the main recovery vessel, which was still a few miles away Let's from the ahead splash down. In SpaceX, we have hypergall sweeps and unfired ordnance checks uh, nominal. Rigor is on board the vehicle about two, five minutes until capsule lift. Guys, this is, and I don't mean, I don't mean this ironically. Why is it shaking? Walking outside and good news. All right, confirmation there that all of those hypergolic uh, vapor tests came out uh, positive, or rather negative, which is a positive thing. <laughs> uh, so the team was able to approach, and now the crew member that is installing the rigging is on top of the capsule. It's difficult to see there uh, because the slower vessel, that re the primary recovery ship, is a little further away. But as we heard, it's just a mere two and a half minutes until... Uh, they will be hoisted out of the water. <laughs> what is that? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> 25 minutes, not 2.5. I misheard that. Yeah. They're fast, but they're not that yeah. fast. <laughs> uh, we also have been hearing that uh, the secondary boat, which its primary mission in this case is securing those parachutes. Uh, they've already got buoys attached to both droves, and uh, two of the four mains no he had eyes on the other two, so they're moving through that work pretty quickly. Again, their primary responsibility, getting those parachutes together. Uh, the drogues uh, detaching from the spacecraft uh, right before the deployment of the mains. The mains automatically detaching immediately as Dragon detected splashdown. Uh, all of that happening right per the timeline. Yeah, we've talked a little bit oh, about damn, the hard like wire while. buttons that Bob and Doug have on their seats and in their control uh, displays and cutting the the main shoots is one of those buttons in the event that they weren't automatically cut after splashdown Bob and Doug would have had uh, the ability to do so uh, if the winds were stronger I kind of wish they had like a filmer in there patients, you know it could certainly create a condition where the capsule could be moved unintentionally by those dragging parachutes so definitely want to avoid that so uh, that's one of the the few buttons that are hardwired into the cabin for the crew. That looks funny today, does it? No, like 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 an actual guy there. It's like you know, IRL streaming it, straight up. And again, right now we're expecting about 20 minutes uh, for the the main recovery vessel, the Go Navigator, to reach Dragon. By that point, all the rigging will be affixed, and then they'll be able to use the A-frame hydraulic lift on the back of the on the back of the vessel to begin <laughs> to pull Dragon up out of the water. Uh, Bob and Doug did report they're seeing the guys climbing around outside their window on the cabin. <laughs>